good, Boss Gang? It's your girl, Faith, a.k.a. Boss Lady Faith, a.k.a. Miss Positivity. You know what I'm saying? And I'm back again with another video. new to my youtube channel hi welcome to bossy me and welcome to the bossy team where we're all about encouraging and inspiring others to be the best they can truly be y'all i'm coming in hot today with some tea, 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 because we need to talk about it like the pressure of being and living in this generation is up there <laughs> like it's really really up there for crying out loud eggs is is twenty dollars for a carton of eggs okay like if that ain't pressure, I don't know what else is. <laughs> but I feel like there are so many cliches on how the world should be, how people should present themselves and all of this stuff. I feel like we're getting so far from authenticity that we don't even, we can't even peep it if we see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't like that. Like, it's giving something. Then on top of that, you got kids that is 14, 15, 13, 14, 15, that's driving their own car, driving their own whip, they got their own money, all of this stuff. Then on top of that, you got the ones that family then built up generational wealth and all of that stuff. And they don't really care about the foundation. They just there, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's so much, and you got people that is out here that's really trying to make it, that's really trying to put a name for themselves. And the world is just making it so hard, like, a lot and those things can really like dim you down it can make you feel like you're not good enough or you're not even able to even get on that level because of everything going at such a high speed a high rate but it's kind of like thinking you got to think of like social media and what everybody else doing is it was just one person you know what i'm saying you cannot compare yourself to that person because they're killing the game and what they're doing. You can only compare yourself to what you're becoming within yourself. Like, I'm not about to compare myself to somebody that had made $7 billion already and they already in a billion dollar house, a trillion their car. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to compare myself to that person because I am winning where I am. I am getting there where I am. I am getting to what I want where I am. They didn't already did what they had to do, so why can't I compare what I'm doing to theirs? Because I ain't did everything they did. You know what I'm saying? But that doesn't mean downplay yourself, make yourself feel like you're not worthy enough to have something or you're not valuable. Everything happens in God's speed. If you have something, if you have an idea, something that you want to do, write the vision and make it plain and do something every single day to make that vision a reality one day like seriously like when i tell y'all like and i know i talk about my coloring book a lot but it's because it was such a big milestone for me like i remember when i did not know how i was gonna get the money to even have the coloring book become a coloring book how i was even gonna pay my editor to do it how I didn't even know I was even going to have a release party for it. Then just came up one day in my head, like, you know what? Let me throw a release party and God bless me with the funds to be able to have that release party. Like all of that happened in God's speed and his timing. And I'm so grateful that I'm learning it now because then I can help y'all learn it and obtain it now. You know what I'm saying? Anything that I post on my YouTube video, try to consume as much as you possibly can because I'm giving y'all value, I'm giving y'all tea, I'm giving y'all something that y'all can use in y'all daily lives. I know I have my moments when I, you know, talk about whatever. But other than that, you know, I am really giving y'all that tea. And some things that you guys can do to help better yourselves and just becoming who you want to become is write down your to-do list, write down your goals for what you want to do the next day, the night before. Like that really helps you out. Now, if you have built the habit within yourself and you just like to write your to-do lists in the morning that is great that is wonderful but i'm talking to the people that wakes up and if they don't plan ahead they get distracted 
<laughs> that, that, that used to be me. Well, sometimes it still is me, but we, we working on it. We working on it. <laughs> but I have noticed that when you write down goals and to-do lists the night before, once you wake up, you have a whole visual of what you need to get done, what you need to do. Just how you have out of, out of sight, out of mind is the same thing you have with insight in mind. Like, if you know for a fact that you wrote down what you need to do, that's already placing in your head the night before this is what you got to do. When you sleep, that is mentally floating somewhere in your consciousness when you're sleeping. Then once you get up and you look at it again, boom, it's back in your head like real dominant. Like, okay, I got to get this done. I got to get this done. And it really helps you to be more productive during the day when you have a guideline to show you what you need to do for the day. Set alarms and get up when those alarms go off. Don't hit the snooze button. Get up. I have found out um, from one of my mentors, love my mentors, y'all. I will let y'all know who they are um, very, very soon. But my mentors, we were talking a couple days ago and they were talking about Kobe. And the reason why he got the, to the level that he was at is because he didn't leave no room for himself to give excuses. Like, no room at all, none whatsoever. If he said he was getting up by 5 o'clock, he wasn't waiting until 5.15, 5.25, 5.30 because he knew he had things he had to do. And to reach those things, he had to be committed to within himself to get it done. Don't let your mind self-sabotage you from what you need to do. Our minds are conditioned to making sure that we are comfortable. So when those things happen, you just have to learn how to become uncomfortable within your mind. Like when you're uncomfortable, you move differently, you act differently, you go for things harder. For instance, that's like if you hungry, uncomfortability of being hungry is gonna get you up to find you something to eat. Same thing with what you're going for. You got to feel uncomfortable about something. And even with it, if you feel like your, un your uncomfortability is like taking over in your, you know, your natural life, write down the positive things that you could be doing or you are doing or you're trying to do to get towards it and keep working on it. You have to eat that in consume that in and i promise you it's gonna be one day you wake up and you're not even gonna be the same person no more you wake up after it doesn't matter if you uh getting ready for the day or whenever just make sure in that first two hours of you being awake that you take at least 10 minutes to pray or to meditate or to listen to music that gets you hyped, that gets you pumped for the day, or a video that encourages you that gets you pumped for the day. Those things really do matter, y'all, especially saying y'all affirmations. If you do not believe in the power of affirmations, then you are sleeping on a power that you don't know how to contain yet because affirmations are so powerful. Your words are so powerful. If you speak it out of your mouth, I promise you, you can make it happen in reality. It might not happen overnight, it might take some time, but guess what? You are gonna get to what you said, if you say it correctly. Come on. I hope I'm giving y'all the tea, y'all. Let me know, let me know. Eat something, you have to eat something. Make sure you drink water. At least water is the first thing that you drink, even if before you get your coffee or your pop or whatever. Make sure you drink water because the water helps flush everything out of your body. Like drinking water is like us waking up to the sun, pretty much. Like it, it refreshes you it makes you know like okay your body your internal man knows like okay all right it's time to get up we got to do this we got to do that we got to do that but you have to have that right fuel drink some water and eat something so then your brain can have enough fuel to comprehend what you're trying to do and when you're sticking to your to-do list and you're doing your goals during the day have little mini breaks don't break your back without having a mini break i don't mean that like you can literally Find you a, a TV show to watch for like 15 to 30 minutes. Listen to your favorite playlist that you, just gets you there again. You know what I'm saying? Those little things, you have to have breaks for your brain. Your brain is already running 24 seven, but you have to have something in there that makes you step away from whatever you're doing to reset, process, get it together. That's like lunch breaks. Kids cannot function if they don't have that lunch break. Same thing with you. Your brain has to have something to sit back on and take a second and breathe and then go back to it. And if you have a uh, certain moments in the day where you start to feel like you're starting to become stagnant and stuff like that, write that down. Tell yourself, 
hey, I'm, I feel like I'm becoming stagnant. Or what you do is put the time, write it down with the time frame of when you started feeling stagnant and then write down when you start to feel like, all right, let me get back on it. Because once you start doing that, you're going to start seeing where your patterns are and you're going to start fixing it automatically without you even noticing it because that's where you notice that that's where your downfall is. That's where your weaknesses is. And that's what we're trying to overcome, those weaknesses, those barriers. And when you get like that, it's okay to feel like that, but don't let yourself psych yourself out. Don't let yourself be like, oh, I can't do this. I can't do this right now. I can't do this anymore. I can't. You know, when it comes to what you want to do in life, y'all, I'm talking about what you want to do in life. Don't make yourself feel like, all right, it's time for me to give up. Because it be those time, those moments and times where you're ready to give up when things really start hitting. I can't express to y'all how many videos that I wasn't going to post that I was playing around with posting that went viral numerous of times. Like to the point that when I see videos that's like uh, in the 100Ks and all of that stuff, it don't even affect me how it used to no more because I'm so used to it happening now. Like overcoming those barriers within your mind is such a big deal. You have to remember, you are your biggest critic so you're going to have beat ups you're going to have those things but it's all about what you do after that and same thing about negative thoughts let me talk about that i was just thinking about this in the car yesterday when you start feeling like you're starting to have negative thoughts you're starting to talk down on yourself and all of that stuff you have to literally stop your brain in that moment and say no you better say no three times like literally if yourself is saying, dang, I ain't got this, dang, I ain't got that, dang, I should have did this, ooh, 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 ah, nope, 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 we are not doing that today, we're not doing that right now, and if you do that, and you stop that, your brain will be like, okay, let's take a pause, they just said we ain't doing that today, even though it's you, you know what I'm saying, like, those things really do help you, and if you feel like, even two minutes after you doing that, you feel like your brain going back to the door. Nope, nope, no, we're not doing that today. Like you have to train your brain to not think negative. Same thing with how you talk to yourself. The way the way you talk to yourself is the way that you should talk to others. So if you're calling yourself dumb, stupid, naive, all of these things, if you won't say that to your best friend, if you won't say that to family members that you know that you love and they ain't did nothing wrong to you if you won't say that to them why would you say it to yourself why would you say it to yourself like you have to speak life to you you can't just keep worrying about the negativity worrying about the past all of that stuff you have to do better for you sometimes you got to take that big breath and you got to figure it out and you got to keep going Stop worrying about what they doing, what she doing, what he doing, what I could have did. Let that stuff go and run for you. Because at the end of the day, only you going to care about you the way you care about you. Like, for real. Like, y'all, I hope y'all getting what I'm saying. I'm dropping some gems. I'm dropping some tea. So catch it. If you loving what I'm saying, y'all better put some little teacups in the comment section. I want to see them teacups, y'all. Let me see them teacups. After you have gotten all of those things done, go back to your to-do list and check off everything that you did. Even if it's the smallest thing, even if you know that you already about to do it. For instance, three things that I know I'm about to do off rip. I'ma pray, I'ma wash my behind, and I'ma eat, okay? Those are things I know I'm guaranteed to do, but I'm still gonna put it on my checklist because at the end of the day, those things make me feel good. Those things add on to what I did. You know what I'm saying? Like even the littlest things count y'all. Even though you know mentally what you wanna do, it's the simple fact that it was a goal for you to write it out and you wrote it out and you did that. It's going to make you feel better. Once you write those things out, give yourself kudos, give yourself props. You can do it by writing it down saying, I'm happy and I'm thankful I did da 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 da. I'm happy and thankful I was committed to da 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 da. Or you can even go in the mirror and say, hey, I'm proud of you because you got da 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 done and you did this and you did that. We might have not reached everything that we said we was gonna do, but we at least got something. You hear what I'm saying? Like, it's all about the way that you coach and talk to yourself. Communication is key with everything. So if you're not communicating with yourself, in a positive light how can you expect for you to do better how 
And I feel like that's where a lot of pressure comes in with us dealing with today's society and just everything with this generation. There's so many cliches that is out here of what a perfect image of that girl being and that guy being when it's not supposed to be like that. You're supposed to make mistakes. You're supposed to figure out what works for you. You're supposed to go through life. Life doesn't come with you just being perfect, wrapped up in a little tiny bow. No. You got to figure out where that fabric got for that bow. You got to figure out where to get to that fabric, how to obtain that fabric and tie it to yourself. Okay, so... Be easy on yourself, y'all. Be easy. Be easy. I feel like we put too much pressure on ourselves. Do what you got to do, of course. Follow. Uh, if you don't know what to do, if you feel like you're in a stagnant position, use these tips. And I promise you it will help you on a daily basis to be better. And just keep running for you. Because one day you're going to look back and be like, man, I remember when I was her. I remember when I was him. I remember when I was in depression and anxiety and frustration and, and stagnation. But now look at you. You're better. You're better. And I'm talking to them people that's really been trying to make themselves better. You are better than what you was before. Remember those tears that you cried. And remember where you are now and how far you came to get where you are now. You're doing good. Clap for yourself. But that is all, boss gang. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I gave some type of life, some type of nugget, some type of golden tea that y'all be able to just drink from and just keep running for you baby because that's what we're doing all day every day unfortunately i do not have my coloring book but i am going to put something up right here so that you guys can see it you guys if you want something to help you better yourself and get you to your goals this is what this coloring book does this coloring book is perfect for those down times that i was telling you about this coloring book is great for that morning time when you're figuring out and writing down your to-do list it's actually um pages in here that does give you a space and area to be able to write down your to-do list and what your goals are for the week and for the month like this thing is filled with a whole bunch of gems, y'all. I'm literally giving y'all tea from this book. So definitely make sure y'all check it out. It's on Amazon for $10. Ladies, I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna love it. Men, I ain't forgot about y'all. I ain't forgot about y'all. Just stay tuned. That's all I'm gonna say because I almost let it go. Just stay tuned. Um, but I thank you so much. I feel like I'm starting to ramble. <laughs> If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you see I'm giving intentional value. You see I'm giving you them, the, 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 what do they call it? I like the sway. No, I actually like the sway. Hmm. Give me the sway. Hmm. Give me the sway. Come on. What's the sway? Hmm. Ah, I'm probably going to put that in the end. There. Okay, but y'all, this is what I'm talking about. It is this. <laughs> but I love you guys. And guess what? Uh, we going. We going. We going. All the way up. Hmm. Mm, all the way up. I love you, boss gang. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ooh, I like the sweat. Oh, I actually love the sweat. Hmm. Give me the sweat. Hmm. Give me the sweat. Come on. What's the sweat?